Welcome to Garden Sanity. I'm Laura, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite garden kneeler bench. This has become indispensable to me, and I actually started using it by accident. Now, first off, it's a bench, but when you flip it upside down, it's also a kneeler. So it makes it very easy, if you have mobility issues, of getting up and down. You end up using your arms and hands as the strength to let yourself go down slowly and gently onto the padded surface. And then you can garden. Now, same thing getting up is you have your hands here and you use your hands and your upper body to get yourself up instead of worrying about your knees, worrying about your whole body trying to balance. You know, usually when you have garden kneelers on the ground, you're sort of ending up putting a hand on the ground trying to get yourself down there. So the reason I say that I started using this by accident is because I had a double hip replacement surgery in the fall of 2017 and by early spring of 2018 I was still recovering and when you have a double hip replacement those of you that know or if you've had a double knee replacement <laughs> both legs are out so you're very limited in mobility while you learn through physical therapy to get moving again and get everything going. So it was early spring, I wanted to prune, I wanted to get out there and garden, and so I thought, I'll buy this. You know, this can help me at least, you know, do more gardening while I'm kneeling or while I'm leaning. I don't have to worry so much about standing, which was really hard for me. When I first started gardening in the spring, actually, I started out trying to use a cane, and I was using a cane with one hand and pruning with the other, it wasn't working. So I started using this by accident. And I quickly found that this thing is indispensable. And I will say one thing, because I am about to be 57, but when I started using it, I did have some people kind of teasing me about it in the neighborhood, because I guess it just looked like an old person's thing. Well. I'm sorry, I think this is the best thing ever. So whether you're in your 30s or you're in your 70s, if you don't have one of these, you might consider it. It's a lot easier to use when you're getting up and down. Now I already mentioned how you can take more advantage of using your arms and your hands, your upper body, to get you up and down. And especially if you have bad knees, bad hips, any kind of mobility issues. But the other thing is, is if you're just a little bit weak, you know, you don't have to have necessarily mobility issues or a bad knee or anything like that. But just if you're weaker, and a lot of us are because we're not, you know, we're not all super athletes. This also really helps because you're not putting so much stress and strain on your body while you're gardening. And that's going to make gardening a lot more enjoyable for you. So having said all that, Let's go through the benefits real quick so you can see exactly why I love this so much. So the first benefit is that you stay completely off the ground. There's a one inch clearance between the bottom of the kneeler and the ground. So you're level and you stay off the ground, you stay nice and dry. And the next benefit is that you can hold onto the bars, and yes, I showed you that previously, but you can hold onto the bars while reaching or leaning in to do any of your gardening. The third benefit is that the base you kneel on is sturdy yet comfortable. You're not going to have any sore knees. The kneeling pad, which doubles as seating, stays clean as it doesn't ever touch the ground. Now, I've had this since 2018, and <laughs> look at how clean it is. You can also turn it over and use it as a seat, or to hold your tools, or your hot tea, or your ice cold water, and a towel when it's super hot in the summer. Now as a seat, I think it's a tiny bit narrow as a seat, and I mean narrow in terms of hip to hip. I would prefer it a little bit wider, but it does work fine. It's a super easy to clean surface. The material is EVA, and I'll explain what that is because I had to look it up myself. EVA is an elastomeric polymer that produces materials which are rubber-like in softness and flexibility. The material has good clarity and gloss, low temperature toughness, stress crack resistance, hot melt adhesive waterproof properties, and resistance to UV radiation. So there you go. <laughs> the bench is 17 inches off of the ground when you use it as a seat. Now this bench is super lightweight. It weighs under 6 pounds. So again, that's another benefit in terms of having it be pretty easy to carry around with you. 
even though it weighs under six pounds, it can support up to 300 pounds. And there are several really good reviews that you can read on Amazon mentioning the size and the weight and how it does seem very sturdy to other people. I can tell you what it is for me, but it's always helpful reading other reviews. Now there are two cons for me in terms of pros and cons. And one may or may not be a con for you. Now these come with, when I got my original one, it came with one gardening tool holder that when you have it as a bench, it can attach right on the side and it hangs down and you can put all your garden tools in it. Now, because I use this so much as a bench rather than a kneeler, that quickly became unusable to me. So that actually was sort of a con because I thought, well, I'm not really going to use this ever. And in fact, I don't even know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere in the garage or the shed, but I never really use it. And so it could be a pro if you want somewhere and you use it primarily as a bench to garden. But as a kneeler, it's a little, you know, when you turn it over, everything falls out upside down. I don't use it. The other con is that the metal does get scuffed where it's placed on hard surfaces. So if you have pavers, if you have gravel like I do, you're going to have a little bit of the metal scuffing off where it's painted on. That is a really minor con, but just so you know, it's only been in these two spots and on the opposite two spots on here. But you know what? That's it. Everything is super clean. Now the cost, I got this one on Amazon and this is the one I'm going to link to in the description area below because this is the one I'm reviewing. You know, nobody paid me for this. It's, I've had this since 2018. I bought a second one that I gave to my 92 year old father so he could continue. He loves to still garden at age 92 and a little bit resistant to using this at first, but then he quickly realized this is so easy to use. So like I said, all ages can benefit from this. If I had known how good this was, I would have bought it way before I had a need for it after a double hip replacement. So anyway, it's on Amazon and the cost is at the moment of publishing this video, the cost is under 50. It's about 47.99, I think, is what I think I saw at the price. So for under 50 bucks, I think it's a really good deal because it's something you're going to have for a long period of time. You're not going to go through several garden kneelers that, you know, get dirty or get ripped or whatever happens over the years. This is a lifetime investment and it's also an investment in you as a person because you're going to have better knees, better mobility. The getting up and down couldn't be easier and better for you, your joints, for your ease of gardening when you're reaching and overall for your garden sanity. So I hope this video was helpful. And in the meantime, happy gardening.